Oh, shit. shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I know exactly what you're talking oh, about. Oh, shit. If I'm gone in the morning, just don't be surprised. I fucked up bad. This karma gonna bite. I roll my karma up or throw it in the spray. Demons from my past. Greetings and salutations once again. We back in the stand. Got my boy George back in the building. I how you doing, man? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Uh, I had right. a lot of fun in the last video, so oh, you I'm already know. We got the Brockhampton. You already gear know. The, you already know. Ready for the iridescent drift. Ripped up from head to toe. <laughs> That's not a dead giveaway. Then maybe the thumbnail will be. Maybe that'll be the giveaway for you. Uh, Brockhampton iridescence. Yes. And I'm, I'm saying that correctly, right? Yeah, iridescence. Yeah. Which is like. Uh, I forgot. I was in a. I was in a space with the word means. Gotcha, but I forgot gotcha. now. <laughs> the definition. I'll just put it. I'll put it. I'll, yeah, I'll put it in it's some something other about like something about color shit. Gotcha. <laughs> it's know, it's the whole thermal feel for yeah. everything. The album cover was really weird at first. Yeah, I didn't necessarily like it. Just like. It was very striking. Yeah. And I like, was like, okay, one, it's 2018, who's doing thermal? Like, yeah, that was back is, when yeah. people went to the Apple store yeah, and took yeah. those pictures. <laughs> it, like, was, it was a super odd uh, choice for sure compared yeah. to like the saturation ones. And exactly. so it seems so like summery and bright. Just forewarning, because y'all <laughs> love to comment that. First listen, I did not like it. I mm -hmm. was just not enjoying it. Yeah. And yeah, I took a few listens to get like really used to it to where I'm like, no, this is good, this is good. And I think it kind of was like the album cover, honestly, where yeah. it was like, it's an so like, taste. abrasive and yeah, an acquired taste. It's kind of like, oh, I don't know, it's intense, but it's, yeah. then you kind of find your way in what you like and what you don't like. Awesome. Yeah. And I'm, I'm, I'm just not seeing, because we were talking about this too, and I'm just saying this so y'all know. I'm seeing that the singles were removed. Yes. Uh, I did enjoy the singles though. I thought yeah, they were great. Uh, they were all cool, but for me when I was listening, I'm a big Brock Hampton fan. I've been listening to them since like the first, yeah, first like you, day. Yeah, you even like have that. some history with, uh, with Kevin. Yeah, I, was, uh, I used to talk to Kevin on Twitter when he was doing uh, his EP, like Kevin Abstract EP, like mm -hmm. six songs or whatever. And they were really cool. He was yeah, really nice archives. Guy. Yeah, yeah, way back. And then he popped up and just everything just happened. I was like, wow, that's crazy. And I got to see them. Um, three times on their first tour. Okay. I saw them the last show of their first tour in San Diego, which was oh, just nice, absolutely nice. hype. They played yeah. Star uh, 12 times in a row. <laughs> it, was, uh, it was just so crazy. And then I saw them again. Um, I saw them again twice or whatever, but, but with Amir Van and then he left and I haven't seen them since pretty much. Yeah. That's yeah. that whole controversy was crazy. Yeah, RFP to the man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but ho hopefully, hopefully the group is doing okay because yeah. I, I know how tight knit they are and I know yeah. how like much they rock with each other. So I'm hoping that you know, the dust is settled and you know, I'm pretty sure they're not associated with each other anymore. Probably like, not. I would assume not. Yeah. I mean, then again, you never know. I mean, everything yeah. happens to be outdoors, but exactly. I'm glad everyone is able to still just like Create. ride with them, love yeah. with them, keep creating. Exactly. Them, like, yeah. Cause they, they're definitely a group. When that, when everything happened, I was like, there's no way this is going to happen to them yeah. right now. Like yeah. they, they have so much potential way Especially too after much. Saturation 3. Seriously. The whole like, trilogy was yeah, crazy. Yeah. Like, and now this is going to be the start of a new trilogy. So I think in another couple months, if I'm, what they said uh, yeah. when they announced this, yeah. that there should be like the same way Saturation set up. Okay. I think we have talked enough. Yup. I think uh, you have a great input for the album, and you definitely have a better background with them than I do. Yeah, I got. I, got I really got thrown the into them like, <laughs> yeah. real quick. They were like, yeah. "Have to listen to saturation. Mm -hmm. Have to listen to saturation." And I was like, "Saturation, crazy. Saturation is crazy." Honestly. So I'm excited to see what they do. This is the beginning of a new chapter for them. So I'm excited to see what we get. Yeah. So without further ado, no more further delays. Let's Get jump in right there. into Iridescence Ooh. from Brockhampton. Number one, New Orleans. Or is some of the natives like to say Narlins. Narlins. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Such an aggressive <laughs> piece, yeah. though. Yeah. Like, it's, wait, yeah. wait. It, it, it's very... Whoa, it whoa. It feels... It, it kind of adds... This album is kind of everything that Saturation 1, 2, and 3 were bringing. Oh, in one album. So okay. it's kind of like they're combining all these hype tracks into one. It's like, yeah, because... That that that's a very interesting point because every single album did start off insane. Yeah, there's always Why? just like the way they they punch you. Yeah, their track lists are so here 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 here, and they it's, it's don't not like we that. got it's not like we got face to start. Yeah, exactly. One. Yeah, you you have like, to like lead up to it. You and got the, punched in the mouth. Even the, the way they end this album, it it ends on like a punch note. Like it's it's so like, odd. I can't wait for you to get okay, to it. Okay, okay. Yeah. I've been down too long, cause I've been down too long. 
brother. Tell the world I see a Who you keep on bound down? That's a big blessing. Don't like how they talking to me. Why they walking to me? Way I'll sit up on your sleep. Yo! Yeah. Oh. 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 <laughs> what? They got young Jaden. Yeah, he came in real quick and just licked it up. That was better than the logic feature. Yeah, young Sinatra. Yeah, I'm out. <laughs> like. <laughs> Oh, okay. So the transition into number two, yeah. Thug Life. So smooth. Oh! <laughs> when I first heard that, I was like, is this the same song? And Whoa. I was like, is that the same song? Whoa! Y'all yeah. know I live. I live yeah. for transition. Very clean transition into that wow. song. Like, probably the the smoothest one I've heard maybe this year. Like yeah, just honestly. the way like it's really effortless. Like you don't even if you're not paying attention to track list, it's like yeah. whoa. Where this is I? the I'm same song. song. Wait, no, wait. Yeah. I'm four tracks in. What? And it's yeah. cool actually they do reference the some of the lines in the first song. So it is okay. kind of like a continuation of the song. So it's cool. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Okay. The song's sick as fuck. I mean, First song, first listen. Came in, right? Came in. There's a vibe. There's color for it, for sure. That, that shit was pretty <laughs> hard. That shit was pretty hard. And that's Kevin. Is it? Really? With his voice pitch? Yeah, with his voice pitch. Yeah. He does a lot of the voice pitch in this album. I think it had to do with some of that wanting to be away from the yeah, It's like a weird vibe. Yo. Yeah. So, does that mean that that was also him on the tracks... Yeah. Would have, like, on Tupac? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, on Tupac, it was actually Amir. If I'm correct, it was Amir Van with, with his, the auto what? pitch, yeah. Whoa. I've learned, I've listened to them enough where I can definitely I hear. thought that was, like, a completely different yeah. member. Yeah, no, shit. you can hear. I was it's... like, yo, who, who is this girl snapping on yeah. Tupac right? <laughs> Something this I shit loved right about, here. Um, that I loved about Brockhampton was that I was always a big fan of, like, making your voice yeah. just different like, sometimes. Oh, because what was that not? track? What was the track? Um... Oh, it's off a wolf. It's off a wolf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it? It's the one with Frank. It's the one with she? Frank. No, no, no. That's that's Goblin. Oh wait, whoa. Oh, Think about wolf. Yeah. Oh, oh shit. shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know exactly what you're talking oh, about. Oh shit. Yeah. Awkward. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, awkward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It is awkward. Yeah. Very much. His voice on that is so distorted and, actually, and lower. Tyler, Tyler uses. I mean, in Cherry Bomb, a yeah. lot of people didn't enjoy Cherry Bomb as much. Understandable. Super experimental. Super. But yeah. Because it is, he does do all that vocal change and all that, and I I do that myself a lot just to yeah. like. It's almost like auto tune in a weird way, but it's yeah. not directly auto tune. It's not for the key of the song. It's yeah, for it's the just to, of the exactly. It's just to add this like whoa, this little like kiddish layer maybe. Exactly. This, like, this weird cartoony layer. It's like when people spit and then they put like other vocals on there that sound demonic or something. Yeah, exactly that. That kind of sounded like Gambino right there. Oh yeah, I feel that. I feel that. That's bear okay. Yeah. I like, I yeah. like the delivery yeah. though. This is such a good car song. Oh yeah, this is straight vibe. Self reflection out in ways I no longer accept. Come on. I understand what I neglect in times when I'm obsessed. I'm learning to confess this fate is hard as I trust. Very interesting delivery over the beat. Yeah. In my reflection. And when he's performing, is that I see him live cry and like it just hits me. He's a really great emotional impact in the album in the, in the band. I like that. Yeah. Vocals. That that brought me back to when I first heard uh, the Dreams album, the, his debut album, Love Hate. Oh my God! Yeah. Uh, falsetto. Yeah. Andre, my favorite. Um, I love Same your girl. The, yeah. Shotty is a ten. Shotty is. Oh my God! I still Classic. I still go back to those songs like like almost every few months. Classic, Classic music. Yeah. yeah. And the Dream writes for everybody. Yeah. Most yeah. people he, don't know the Dream wrote Bed mm -hmm. for Jay Holiday. He's Single a rap, ladies. Dude. He's really Single sick. Ladies. Yeah. And I mean, he hasn't been featured as much lately, but I think he's still just as constantly doing yeah. that producing and writing and everything. for Because that's, I mean, that's that's how Akon is so rich. Yeah. That, yeah. He put on Lady Gaga. Yeah. A lot of artists, yeah. I mean, a lot of artists just do that now, really. Like, Hello. I mean, like Sia. She did. Yeah, I'm... Everyone. <laughs> Sia, is, Sia is so rich beyond, beyond her dreams. Yeah, like, seriously. <laughs> shout out. Thug Life was uh, absolutely fire. Yeah. one of, Kind of one of my favorites on the album. Oh, yeah. That's a standout. Yeah. Like, really, really pretty. Just that, that like, 
just the color that comes through on that song yeah. is so It's a so very cool. vivid song. Yeah, the little piano. Like yeah. everything about the beat is really just already great. It yeah, just feels vivid. like it's a it's it's a like a live heartbeat, but it's not just beating red. Ooh, I so feel that. I you so feel, me? feel like, that on that one, yeah. Number three, Berlin. Yeah. Y'all know I love auto tune. That shit hard. Yeah, that yeah, shit is yeah. crazy. I think this is like a key assist, I assume. Yeah. It almost feels like it a feels guitar, like it, yeah. you know, but it, you never know, honestly. It's it feels like the same that. instrument Travis used on the end of Way Back. Yeah, 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 definitely. Say crazy. What the hell, man? Yeah. It's like a damn fire alarm. Right? Like a damn just happened. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah. The crazy thing about that track is that it was so enjoyable. Yeah. Like, Actually, what's weird is that there, I found myself skipping that a lot of the time yeah. for some reason. I think it's because I enjoyed it and then I was like, okay, I'll listen to it later. Yeah. And right now, it kind of helped me enjoy it again more. Yeah. Because I, you know, I'm like, this is why this is cool. Yeah. Because I've listened to it, mm. but this like helps me like 100% focus. Yeah. Know, like, yeah. Which yeah. I've already done, but yeah. still not in this sense. You, you can know? still zone into it and really Yeah, because we're breaking it down them. for, you know, whoever's exactly. watching this and like that. But the that, people that yeah. asked and the people yeah, that yeah. like rocking. Yeah, definitely. Number four, something about him. I mean, for the gays out there, it represents. Yeah, it's like, I, it just makes you feel good. I'm like, that's something about my man. Exactly. <laughs> it's something for you to sing to you. Yeah, straight up. Yeah, I love it. Like, I can't tell if it's keyboard or guitar. Yeah, you know, maybe even string too. Yeah, it's just, they definitely have some string. I like that that you mentioned um, it's something for the gays too. Yeah, and it, it it's also I think it could bring about the taboo subject of like, you know, because people already have an idea of what being black is, but there's also an idea of what being gay is. Yeah, to a man. lot of people. Seriously, for sure. And you know, there's a there's a YouTuber slash ex founder that I follow. His name his name is Jay Zim, mm -hmm. and somebody was asking him about like why you know how he is gay or whatever yeah he was like i'm sorry that i don't watch rupaul's drag race and yeah xyz because yeah. i'm not that type of gay like, exactly like the know? the thing about it is like i'm assumed straight so much yeah which is understandable because i come off as just a regular dude which that's what gays are regular yeah. dudes regular some people them, some people different like orientation. To, yeah some people like to have more of a creative aspect with it and right. like flaunt it and i mean i grew up on rap and hip-hop like exactly. how am i gonna be I, I'm just like myself. That's exactly. it. But it's cool because I mean, like, hearing Kevin Abstract do it in the first way and like really putting that wave out there was right. great because it was like he put the aggressiveness into being gay. And right. um, I mean, and I rap and I make music, so like that's the same thing I'm doing. And I'm like, that's we need more of that in the wave, honestly. 100%. Because there are tons of gays that still listen to rap and want to relate to not. I'm fucking bitches. I'm doing that. Like exactly. they wanted, to, they want to say they they grabbing dicks and they doing whatever. Exactly. They <laughs> That's why I really didn't have an issue with the whole. I just gave my nigga head. Yeah, that that was one um, of the what, sickest what the, things that came in. Like, I, I don't, I, I, I don't I, fuck with white boys. Let the nigga shot me. Yeah, like, I thought that was funny I as love hell. That. And, and, and like dudes were offended by that. Yeah, they're like, oh, excuse me. I like, was like, like well then. That's first and fault. foremost, <laughs> but first and foremost, have y'all seen Shawn Mendes? Right. <laughs> I'm, I'm a straight man in America. I, Hello. Buddy. I always speak. I speak from the straight side of me and the gay side of me. Right. Where I'm like the straight side of me would have said, "Damn, that's a handsome man." The gay side of me is still saying, "Damn, that's a handsome exactly. man." Exactly. Like, Hello. It don't really matter much, honestly. Listen, <laughs> I'm I'm so secure in my masculinity and yeah. my sexuality to say that straight up. Like, if you want to call me something different, that's on you. You can be however you want to be. If exactly. you're gay, if you're trans, if you're whatever. Like, exactly. You, you can just decide to do what you want to do, exactly. and that's what I definitely like about like Brockhampton that they just they bring that, that vibe of you know we can be whatever we want exactly. and we're still gonna do it you know exactly I mean yeah. cause you know that's that's why I also you know I said this in my Choice of Vaughn review I like that 
he says boy in his lyrics. Yeah, and I love so that. much more now so than you know Cause before. Honestly, we gotta own up to it. When I when I first started making music, I was younger, so I was like slightly worried because at the time it was different yeah. and I was slightly worried being a gay artist trying to do rap or do this because right. I felt I felt forced to do certain things say certain things or work right. around certain things or do concepts and because you also I'm scared had, um, you know you also had Forrest Gump for yeah uh, for it, exactly reference. Frank Ocean like th- those those kind of things are really iconic and, and monumental for myself just because I'm like this is what what I need in my life. You know, mm-hmm. this is what I need. The the inspiration to show that yeah, I can be gay. I can do whatever I want to do, and and a lot of people like me. And then they're like, oh, you're gay. Oh, cool. I mean, I guess they're not all just crazy all up in your face and yeah. stuff. So I guess they're not that bad then. Exactly. Because you know? we ain't. Exactly. <laughs> some that's are sassy. Some are crazy. But yeah. we, like, not everybody. That's by choice. <laughs> exactly. Some people are sassy and crazy. They're straight. Exactly. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Y'all. Y'all see me get sassy on this yeah. show. <laughs> the, the the last Twenty One Pilots video. All the shit oh, yeah, I was I throwing. Saw, I saw that. Come on now. <laughs> There's so much variety. Yeah. Nobody is just one thing. If your idea of somebody being gay is the flamboyant, drag queen, this, that, and the third. You gotta update yourself, yeah, yeah, because that's not the wave. And if your idea of anybody else is one certain idea, then that's just that just says something about you. Yes, yeah, son. And I'm not trying to <laughs> offend. I'm not trying to, you know, call you out or nothing. But it's 2018. It's 20. That's like the. It's 20. It's 2018. Get with the times. It's 20. Okay. Realize that there's difference in humanity. Yeah. I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm already talking too long, but it's okay. We out here. Cause that, exactly <laughs> that. conversation, dude. Broadcamp and Spark in it. Exactly that. Number five. What a cash chat. What a cash Okay? Hat. I'm expecting a Lil Wayne sample. No, I'm just playing. That's Merlin? Yeah, Merlin. Yo! Yeah. Super abstract too. Honestly. It is. That's like Berlin, actually. I never it's noticed. almost like techno, but yeah. it's still hip hop. Yeah. them like telling that to like the industry in a way yeah. in, like a weird way of that you know like give us our props yeah yeah give yeah. us our cash yeah give cause us now our they're credit. getting it now they're gonna exactly. ask it necessarily it's, it's absolutely crazy how wild and fast they blew up yeah like so very, so much to the fact that they could put out three albums yeah. in a year yeah that was wild three albums in one wild. year yeah and they all do well yeah they all go crazy and they all do well mm-hmm. we've seen Already established artists drop two albums in a year, yeah. and sometimes both of them fizzle. Yeah, there's, there's it really, either that yeah. one album that's hotter than the other, or both of them yeah. don't go anywhere. Or it's like, yeah. <laughs> exactly, and then they'll do the mixtapes and the features and stuff. And see, that's that's just another reason why I'm I'm always gonna be a fan of Lil Wayne and his work ethic yeah. because I have never seen in my in my years of living, I have never seen somebody go that hard and record that much. For half a decade, yeah. 2005 to 2010, yeah. straight recording mm-hmm. and just everything be fire. Yeah, I think that's... Like, um, every album, every mixtape. Like, in that span, we got the Carter 2, the Carter 3, the Drought 3, no ceilings. Yeah. All of that. And then don't even get me started on the features. Yeah. We got the yeah. you. We got you, Lloyd and Lil Wayne. Yeah. If y'all remember that classic track, whoa! Nah, I'm getting off topic. But... <laughs> That that work ethic is so inspiring to me, and to see it somewhat replicated with how they yeah took their yeah. hype by storm and just struck while the iron was hot repeatedly, mm-hmm. and they got it right every yeah. every time. Yeah, I that is feel that. that's unprecedented. That's I, haven't, I, I haven't seen a collective do that ever. I think they really just carry for. I mean, all the artists I've already enjoyed growing up, mm-hmm. and all the artists that made a name for themselves, right. and they really put on. For them with doing their entirely old thing, like you know, that's that's exactly so crazy about it's incredibly movie. original. Yeah, yeah very, like very we're not original. hearing this done. Yeah, just from extremely original for sure. And like it's it's not even like you can say that and you can point out the influence uh, from Odd Future. Yeah, because that's pretty much 
the mm. whole reason this whole alternative version of hip hop exists. Yeah, pretty much. Honestly, they came yeah. through and smacked the industry yeah. in the face with it. Yeah, they were the other NWA. You know, exactly. That's like he goes NWA on future. I would, camp. I, would, <laughs> I, would, I would say Wu Tang. Oh yeah, Wu Tang. My bad, my bad. I haven't got into Wu Tang. I never been a crazy Wu Tang fan, but gotcha, I gotcha. always support them. And we got like that, a tribe. That, that, that's what I'm saying. I tribe. About that. My bad. Wu Tang. <laughs> yeah. NWA. Yeah. On future. Now we mm-hmm. got Brockhampton. Number six. Wait. Leave my niggas y'all sheepin', I keep the world in my hands I know a cow should be deleted I know some niggas should stop hitting my phone whenever they need it For the road signs, I really miss when I ain't know it's where I was supposed to head And I was pressed because my shorty gave me cold signs And every time she took a bra off, my dick would get soft I thought I had a problem, kept my head inside a pillow screaming I don't wanna waste no time What? Right? <laughs> what? I was like, you're gonna love this shit. Wow! It's like drum and bass. Yeah, straight up. We're born with the dollar sign attached to our tempo. Life is a dish, sir. Go most times. And all my life, I'm taking off. Could you be blown in a break? You could listen to a mental mental off. I'm missing your shape. It's not the day to rub the pieces of the snakes. You gotta keep it cool. I can't take a step back. Makes me wish you passed that. Pressure makes me laugh. I'm loving this experience. It's really making me dive even more into the album than I already have, mm-hmm. which I'm like very much enjoying. It's so cool. I'm really loving it on yeah, first listen. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad that you're, yeah, I'm definitely like. I'm glad you're enjoying it yeah. more than I enjoyed it because yeah. I think I just had a bad day when I was in Got you, got you. I think that's just all it was, but like, yeah, definitely I'm so glad I enjoyed this album at some point. Yeah, I think more than the obvious rhythm and tempo yeah. beat switches, mm-hmm. which were absolutely crazy. I that song really, holds like five of them. Too. Literally. It's actually nuts. I didn't even realize how many yeah. switches there is in that. They literally threw like five songs in one. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Which is just crazy yeah. because, you know, you you have the freedom to create however much you want, but it's it's always dope when you see people going above and beyond. Definitely, I yeah. really just want to salute the story that Kevin told at the beginning because yeah. like I don't really know what that would be like mm-hmm. if you know you grow up in a society where people do bash gays and yeah. people do ex- exert a lot of homophobic behavior. And then you have that type of experience. Yeah, it's that's that's got to be horrifying. It's definitely really. Um, I mean, because I literally went through it in middle school, where mm-hmm. I was like, I was like, you know, I I'm supposed to be liking girls. I'm supposed to be doing this, and mm-hmm. like I remember just like it's like the same thing you're hearing in just your social reality at all the time. Right. So at that period, like in elementary, I thought. I had to just be like a white blonde kid so I can make it easy in life. I was like, why can't I just be that? But I'm not that, you know, I have all these different ethnicities in me. So I'm like, I'm going to own up to that, but it doesn't come out till later. Same in middle school where it was more about my sexual identity where it's like, like I felt that I had to be straight. And in high school, I kept trying to hold on to that. But then I met someone that I was in gay with. (laughs) And I've been with them ever since now. I I like like that. (laughs) That's clever as shit. It's sick that like, (laughs) yeah, I love that they're able to put that out for people who don't get that. Because it is a real thing where I was worried about not worried but stressing myself out Mm -hmm. like oh does that mean I don't have a normal life does that mean I'm gonna get this and like all these different things that come with that and I mean eventually you realize once you get older that it should not matter so the faster you come out the faster you tell people the better it's gonna be for your life because in middle school that's like my my biggest advice to anybody that's contemplating coming out as gay, bi, trans whatever you need to come out as because um, in middle school, I decided to tell my family and my friends, my closest family and friends, that I was bi. So that if I decided to later be gay, mm-hmm. they're not going to be like, whoa, big flip. Yeah. It was just like, okay, yeah, I'm with a guy now. So this is my thing for sure. And I tried girls out, not for me. I respect them on a whole other platform. Exactly. <laughs> I feel like because it's such an issue yeah. to come yeah. out for people, it's such an issue for people to identify themselves and really just come to terms with who they really are. I feel like I feel like verses like that are necessary. Yeah, and I think definitely like him being a black gay, which is even yeah. better because I mean there is it's almost like I mean I, I've surrounded I've been surrounded with nothing but black culture my whole life and like I'm twenty five percent black so I relate in those senses but I'm never gonna be skin color black. So right. 
there's always more hardships that kind of come with that. Mm-hmm. And the more identity changes that aren't social standards in right. a sense, right, right, uh, right, right, right. the harder it is for them to have to cope with things. So like him having that, it's probably even harder when you have, you know, everyone coming around you telling you, you got to be this, you got to be that. Exactly. I don't get that nearly as much because I'm a part of a, you know, a light skin culture, I guess, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. but yeah, it's, it's, um, I think it's, it's great to have that presented pretty much. You know? 100%. Yeah. Number seven, District. What the hell? Like, like a robot coming to life. It really is. It's like a whole transformer. Yeah. Oh, oh, that is so clean. That's crazy. <laughs> Yo, and then this gets beautiful out yeah. of nowhere. And if I'm correct, that's also bare face at the end. You know? I could be wrong, but but yeah, I mean that that reminds me more and more of like Berlin. But the more I'm in here, like analyzing everything, it seems like Berlin is like. Setting you up for the, these specifically weird yeah. songs like yeah, District yeah. and like uh, Where to Cash That like yeah. they have that reminiscent of the just that that weird weird ass beats just weird and ass it's beats it's sure. interesting that there's no acts listed on here yeah. but the album still feels like it's an acts yeah yeah like it feels like with every creation from the like previous two or mm-hmm. however many there's yeah. that destruction for the yeah. next setup yeah exactly you know what yeah. I mean like yeah. we had New Orleans to start mm-hmm. straight in the thug life yeah. and then. Ah, yeah. Berlin, how you and, doing? And Berlin kind of went into something about him in the same way that it's almost like they're doing it exactly. over and over. But and when so it cash out was the banger, yeah, something about and it was wait. that slow song. Yeah, and then and wait, then... and then you get district. Yeah, so now it, we're in cool. like Act Three of the album. Yeah, like, whatever you want to call it. Love it. That's crazy. That's crazy. Number eight, loophole. I just want to shoot videos. Can't get it I just want to get popular. Like, I don't care. Take my publish. I don't know what that is anyway. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, the next album, I saw it. I'm like, damn, these checks ain't like the checks that I'm used to niggas seeing. I might be able to get four and five cars and jewelry and things that I want to get. So I'm like, let me figure out what's the loophole in this shit. No, I'm not. I really love this little addition to it because. It gives you a break, you know. Mm-hmm. It gives that little sample. Especially break. after this. Yeah, and it, and it helps you. Um, it helps you like form more thoughts into the concept of the album, the mm-hmm. world of the album. Right. And it um it also I mean as an artist uh, as an artist for yourself, yeah, yeah. people trying to make it necessarily it does give you a little more insight to uh, as much as we already get from it. Right. That we still have to keep buckling up and being exactly. ready for whatever comes our way if we really want to. No, one hundred percent. Then this the whole reason my dad went through what he went through. Yeah. You know he got signed at eighteen, nineteen. Wow. Making rappers delight. Put that on. That's awesome. So, you know, the record went crazy platinum, but he wasn't seeing any of that much. Yeah, because you, know? you gotta, you have to, there's so much, so much game to play there, exactly. pretty much. Number nine, tape. I can barely rap, I can barely dance, I'm a male stripper doing belly dance. <laughs> What? He straight went in. He Yo, went in. see, that's how you open a song. Yeah. I gotta run it back. I gotta run it back. I gotta run back. I can barely rap, I can barely dance, I can barely laugh, I can barely hang. It's a male strip, do a belly dance for me and my boyfriend. It's the same, and I'm trying to talk to me. That's crazy. Because so, I'm working with you, so I feel like it's my fault because of music. I'm just saying shit, just fucking ruin it. I'm true, but truthfully. I might save it, depending on the shit that y'all write later. I hate writers, I hate tweets, I hate journalists. They hate truth, they hate peace. They want my niggas to burn us first. Fuck these lights, put my life on the line when it feel right. I'm fine, no, I'm not lying, don't ask me. I paid a fine, I paid the toll, just hope I don't crash it. But hey, if I do, it will be a blaze of glory. You cool, 
but quit complaining about all that. That's why I'm showing up late. I'm not trying to be a dick, but my time is not to waste. For my shell, for the small time with my sensei. So I started to, I don't always remember the coconut. I don't always remember my altitude. I don't always remember the stop the fight, but I'm like, my side. Like, yeah, I know. That one, that one, I don't listen to as much only because it's so emotional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's one of those songs that you know are already good. But yeah, you're not gonna constantly relive that emotion. You know yeah, no, yeah. That that's kind of the first one that I I listened to and I was like, all right, cool. Yeah. As opposed to how I felt about exactly. everything. Exactly. That's exactly how I feel about it. Still, yeah. I yeah. think it's a great song, but it's yeah. not like. It's just not a replayable song yeah. constantly. You yeah, know that's I mean? that's the first one I wouldn't go back to off off top. Yeah, and off that's the first list. I think it's a song that you would. It's not a filler song, but it's no. a song that you would listen to in the full list. Yeah, if I I'm think. if I'm letting if the album run, to, yeah, you're I'm like, let it you're run. like sick. This is good. So, but if yeah. I'm you know, oh, let me play you something off the record. I'm gonna start yeah, with New yeah, Orleans. Yeah, exactly. Maybe, maybe even District. This is smack somebody yeah, in the face yeah, with yeah. it. Thug Life. You know, those are like the go tos off yeah, the top. Yeah, I feel that's, that. That's that's the first one I've come to. Where I'm like, all right, cool. Yeah, but yeah. Like you said, not a filler song, not I, a bad song. I think the rest of the album starts to go a little darker from uh, here, okay. and that's where it kind of like okay, that sets it up almost. That sets up the sound for that. Gosh. Number ten, Jovert. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, which I believe means like. Like open or inside, like come. Uh, uh, I can't remember. Some, some. I, I've seen it online, and yeah, wild song. I'm not gonna say. All right. All right. Is that like in a low light? Yeah, yeah. Just let go. All the way up. The bass is all the way up. <laughs> sense that the star is next to it it makes sense yeah, that that, I, that would be like well, the popular one when the album came uh well that that dropped and then the album came like don't remember how many days later or mm -hmm. whatever but um i already liked that song a lot when yeah. it came out and then when i didn't like the album i was like okay well at least we got this song because it's yeah. just fire like yeah. just flame and yeah. then yeah now now that i like the whole album it's yeah. just glad to have that there yeah, pretty it's much nice <laughs> yeah, number it's, 10. It's, it's <laughs> wild to hear stuff like this and even though i'm not his biggest fan right now, I really feel like albums like this wouldn't exist without Yeezus. Yeah. Like, if Yeezus yeah, wasn't no, as definitely. loud yeah, and I wild agree. as it was... That was that was an album that completely, to me, changed the game. Up. Like, I don't care what anyone says, that, that changed the game. <laughs> Number 11. <laughs> Little malfunction before that. <laughs> Number 11, honey. Oh! oh, oh, oh. Yeah. This sounds like, um... Bounce moves to the boogie that be You know I want to Black Eyed Peas, the old Black Eyed Peas Oh yeah, yeah, yeah Like Ella Funk? Yeah, yeah, yeah Are you serious? I forgot about the sample. Andre pointed it out, and I was like, "Oh, wow. that's that's, that's fucking crazy." Yeah. Oh, yeah. Slow motion. <laughs> that's that. That's that down south shit right there, baby. And 
and they owned it because I didn't even know it was there. Yeah. So Andrew, who's a big Yance fan, pointed it out. Oh. And I was like, wow. Oh, I love Yance. So it's like, it can help people like Yance even integrate into their own sound, exactly. which is cool. And I feel like if that was to even happen, because the same, same deal when Pharrell brought them out, because we all know Pharrell doesn't do anything for Cloud. We, yeah, we know yeah, Pharrell yeah. is simply always on the alternative, the other, mm -hmm. the uncategorized. He's always been for that group of people. Yeah. I feel like if they were to integrate Beyonce into that, it wouldn't feel like a PR move. Yeah, you know? like, yeah. You, you can always tell when a bigger artist wants to do something with a smaller artist to appeal. Mm -hmm. You know, like, you can always tell that. So... That is really dope that Hondro would bring that up. Shout out to Hondro. Yeah, way. shout out to Hondro. That's my man. That's my fiance. My gay fiance. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Number 12. Number 12. Vivid. Como se dice, don't touch on me with them dedos. I minimize all your credentials. I like, where's the song going again? Don't forget me. 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 But now you watch that you hate it. You taking shots at what for us? I got two drones at the station. Hit the button. What? Crazy. Yeah, the. Here you go. The Sonics are crazy. Yeah. It's crazy because this is really bringing me back to when my sister's friend told me to check them out and showed me mm -hmm. the dirt video. Yeah. And I was like, I haven't heard anything this jarring and this like yeah yeah look at us yeah we're that. dope yeah, like i haven't exactly seen that in things. forever yeah so when i heard that do 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 i was like oh wait the yeah. melody is crazy but then they can rap too yeah and that's the really, thing they really that's the showed thing. up on rapping on this album even even though i'm a production oriented listener if you can spit Mm -hmm. That don't make me pay attention yeah that's why like when you know most of the new wave rappers have these crazy beats and nothing to say over it. I gotta, yeah. I, I gotta tune them out. Yeah, it's sad. Like I really, yeah. like, I, I don't understand the fascination with Die Lit. I mm -hmm. love the production on it, but I mean, I'm, I'm not hearing nothing crazy. Maybe, mm -hmm. maybe I'm just old. I don't know. We're at that point now. Yeah, I, I, I know I am. <laughs> I'm maybe 24, but my soul is 65. <laughs> I'm telling you, I've been pointing out all the samples. The whole thing was shaping my heart and losing. Oh dreams. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like. I, I told that to one of my younger homies. He was like, oh, that's a different song. I was like, yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> the song we used to listen to back in the day. <laughs> it was also a band called The Police that he was a part of. Sample Grandpa. You also know. You also know the Diddy song, I'll Be Missing You, that he dedicated to Notorious B.I.G. That was also a different song made by like, The Police. What? I'll be watching you. I'll play it for you now. Dun, 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 dun. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> No, but shout out to Brockhampton. The best thing for me about this album is that it's really bringing me back to that first experience. Yeah. It's bringing me back to, to Dirt. Because it's been a cool minute since I've listened to them on repeat for a while. Because 2018, there's just too much music out. There's yeah. too much fucking music yeah. out. I think, um, I think this album represents the first leg of their trilogy in the same way the first saturation. Did. Right, it, yeah. It sounds... They play a lot with the pitch voices, which mm. is heavily in the first album. Yeah. And the second album became this cohesive, almost pop album. Yeah. Me, because it's it's really easy to like a lot of yeah. the songs. And I'm really curious to see where they go with the, the, next, yeah, the next release. The next on two, this yeah, for sure. Coming up on the last bit of tracks, number 13, San Marcos. That is such a chameleon with the music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. Who the hell you fooling? It's so obvious. There's a party outside till the morning go come. Is you dancing on the lawn? Is you dancing for someone? There's a party outside. No, they say you were so just pray you work again. All the diamonds on my back. Oh, this reminds me of waste. Yeah, waste. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 All those oh. kind of songs. Very basic. Very basic. Very basic. Very <laughs> This is 
one of those like, like what you want to yeah, yeah bro <laughs> this is the music you put over the slideshow with all the photos yeah, yeah. <laughs> some, some middle school type shit <laughs> Absolutely beautiful on that. Number 14, Tonya. Tanya. Ah, uh, Tanya. Like, uh, I, Tanya, have you seen the movie? I have. Yeah, so this is what, this is okay. based around, yeah. Mm. You can play them keys. Mm -hmm. If I'm correct, Joba did it. Because uh, in the live version, he plays it, so I, I assume he played it. Like the after a mirror van kind of emotion, if I'm correct. So like, I feel like yeah. Sometimes it be so spot on it hurts. Like when Auntie couldn't decide between going to work or church. I feel my life is hot, Tonya, a big eye monster. Only face to conquer. I hate his songs about fame, cause that stuff meant nothing. I said I'm headlines came. If you want to walk with me, I'll walk away. I know that I have told you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All this shit, I know they feel it. My mama always had these dreams they used to keep up at night. I sought to keep them all away and make you from things I needed to commit to. The way it stands to me, a victim of Stockholm and my friendships and family. What's yeah, causing yeah. the time? What's the reason that you want? There's so many games, you know why I play yeah, that. That's crazy. Yeah. Woo! That run! Yeah. Yo! Yeah, that was beautiful. Oh, um, but I think, I feel like that was probably the hardest song for them to put on the record. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I feel like that was the hardest one to, to, uh, to, so, um, to create. Yeah, because like... I mean, it's cool, like, doing this after hearing it so many times, but yeah. getting to appreciate the soft moments in it, because, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's like, yeah, it's the journey. It's mm -hmm. the journey that we went through, and uh, it's cool. And lastly, finally, closing act, closing song, number 15, Fabric. Love is every season, what the hell do y'all believe in? Why the hell do y'all keep reaching? Even when I see him, I tell myself the love will be the thing to keep us from grief. No typo, now my mom called me whenever she need her car, no cell phone, whatever bill paid to. Y'all niggas lose. I'm scared of what can happen when ideas will consume you Cause there isn't room for peace I can't achieve You don't understand why I can't give up your shout Ooh. Ooh. Don't mind me That's crazy, right? Experience. We had so much dialogue about so that. Much about, like, <laughs> That's kind of crazy. Like, I was gonna say, I don't really feel like we need to do the whole after project talk because we've no. been talking. Yeah, no, I did. We definitely, you know, said it throughout. Honestly, I'm I mean. saying so. I mean, we can definitely do, like the the final wrap up stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As a whole, first yeah. list. That's that's my yeah. favorite project from yeah. them. That's why I'm definitely gonna listen to it a few times. Yeah, because yeah. I don't think I would have had nearly as much to understand about yeah. it. You know, I definitely got to like grow a little with it right, and right. now i'm like okay i understand and now this is like totally set it to be yeah. really great honestly it's a great just, listen great great album it really album. is just so next level it really is for me yeah. especially because i i was really thrown into these mm -hmm. guys like yeah. yeah i never really found out about them until people started commenting yeah them in the comment section and then like i told you my sister's friend showed me dirt and i was like oh mm -hmm. these dudes are dope and then things just started dropping from the left and right one yeah. two three it's out 
And I'm like, okay, these dudes are out here. And I saw yeah. them for a brief second at Flognaw, and they killed yeah, it. Yeah, they're great. They are great absolutely insane live. Mm -hmm. So, shout out to these dudes. And it's it's really, really beautiful. I said this in Troy's album. I said this was with, uh, with Ariana's album. I, I love to see maturity in artists. And yeah. you can really see how their sound has evolved from the first saturation. Mm -hmm. And their their writing skills, their artistic delivery, everything about this album is just evolution. Yeah, they push themselves, for sure. Completely. Yeah. And to push themselves through adversity, I think, is always something that always benefits the music. Yeah, I, I've, I've yet to hear an album, a breakup album, album after somebody dies. Mm -hmm. Al I've yet to hear an album after something traumatic or something very devastating be a bad album. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I just feel like it's impossible for artists to create bad music mm -hmm. when they're in a bad place. And I can I, I believe, I mean, everything happens for a reason, so, I mean, yeah. maybe Amir was the push they needed. That's uh, I mean, true. Amir leaving or the push they needed to just have something new to even speak about. Yeah. Not only fame alone, but yeah. what it literally could do to your group, what it could do to your peers and yeah. the people you love and stuff like that. And then they're all going through stuff in the public eye. Yeah. So we yeah. don't know what they're dealing with yeah. behind closed doors. Leaving we just know what they show us. all the time exactly. and all that stuff. Like, yeah, I feel exactly. that. I definitely feel that. I do like that now we have more information on everybody else and everybody else can find something to seek out with the music. Because people, yeah. people go to music for an escape. So if you have somebody rapping about what they're going through, like, you know, <laughs> hallelujah, praise God, I'm still yeah, impressed. Yeah. Like, that is a relatable-ass yeah, line. Definitely. So I really love that this album is kind of the escape that the other outcasts need. Yeah, that yeah I agree. Yeah, I mean, I, that's pretty much perfectly worded. <laughs> I, you know my, my thoughts on the, on the album right, since right, I right. came in here already. Right, exactly. <laughs> but uh, I'm definitely glad you enjoyed the album. I'm glad that... Everybody waited for this. There's yeah. no hype around it anymore. Yeah, and now yeah. So we're able to hype it in our own way. Exactly. It's much more genuine this <laughs> Yeah. Way, as for, opposed for real, to just, oh, it's out. It's out. Yeah, Let's check it out. Like, okay, cool. Okay, cool. Exactly. You know, and like, and I've never wanted to be that There's some channel. detail in exactly. here. Because, I mean, I try to come on and put on for the Brockhampton fans. I yeah. hope I did you guys right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for iridescence. Yeah. Shout out to Brockhampton and shout out to y'all for watching, honestly. That's going to do it for this episode of The Tune Up. I'm so glad you watched. I'm glad you waited and I hope you enjoyed. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming by once again. Of course, again. I'll always come by no oh. matter what. Of course, <laughs> brother. All his socials will be in the description. Follow him on everything. Yeah. Music will be in the description as well. You can follow me on any everything as always usual. I was going to say something else, but <laughs> the word escaped me. It's been a long week. But as I always say. Like, share, subscribe, the whole nine. You know the biz, you know what it is. That's George. I'm Jared. This has been the Tune Up. Thank you so much for watching. We out!